man. I'm gonna show, I'm gonna show y'all some. I'm gonna show y'all some redneck stuff. What's up, YouTube family? Gerald Greenley here with Clean Green Lawn Service in beautiful, sunny South Georgia. Man, looking good today. But I ain't planning on working all day today. Uh, anyway, probably gonna have to get in about you know four or five hours something like that but uh it is 9 17 man i'm doing some i'm doing some randall and some josh kind of stuff today bro uh well the, the guys at the house putting the ac duct working all in so i had to go down there and check with him make sure everything was going to work out there and then I had to load up some equipment. We're going to do aeration and overseeding today as well as uh, cut uh, a couple of properties. So, busy day, busy day. Uh, busy day for a Saturday. Um, so, I got, uh, it's about a, mm, it's around about, it's less than 20,000 square, uh, around about 20,000 square feet, somewhere in that neighborhood, what I got to uh, aerate and overseed. Some of it is uh, open <laughs> and some of it isn't. So gonna be, uh, gonna be just a little bit of a challenge, but uh, anyway, we're gonna do the best we can with it. Uh, this is one of my customers that we uh, likes to keep her yard looking good. As a matter of fact, I referred her to a, a guy I've met here in the community that's getting out of lawn care and, uh, well, lawn mowing and uh, doing nothing but uh, fertilization, weed control, that kind of stuff. He went and got his applicator's license and uh, over the last three years or so, he's just gradually worked his way out of mowing. And uh, in fact, I went and quoted one of his accounts yesterday. I think me and one or two other guys, he just gives them our number, and he says, hey, just check with these guys, you know. So I try to help him. People want fertilization. I say, hey, if you really want to spend some money on your yard and you really want to keep it, you know, looking good and have somebody who's going to maintain it year-round, uh, give this guy a call. Get a price on it. Some of them do. Some of them just want me to bag up and, you know, uh, put down, uh, you know, weed and feed or... Um, Actually, this lady wanted me to put down weed and feed, and I told her about this other guy, and so she called him. They worked out a deal, and he come tested the soil, all that kind of stuff, putting down what she needs on it. So now I'm going to go overseed it, and uh, we're going to have a good-looking lawn, you know. Uh, and it's already pretty, it's already, you know, uh, grows pretty good. So she keeps her beds up real nice, and, you know, we cut the grass every week one of those kind of deals so anyway gonna go pick up z-man he's gonna help me today i i really don't need him uh on this aeration and overseed but i'm gonna let him work because i need him at the other two i'll let him edge trim and cut and blow off the other two while i do the uh, landscape stuff there so you know it works out it works out man anyway let me get up here and pick him up and uh we will check back with y'all man i'm gonna show, show y'all some i'm gonna show y'all some redneck stuff i'm gonna show y'all y'all see this yard it's aerated pretty good
sound pretty good, but it really is. I mean, like I said, we got some decent plugs coming out. You can look at it. But anyway, got to get the other side done, get the backyard done, man. And then we're going to put some seed down. All right, Z-Man is finishing up. He's running over it without me on it now. And all that stuff up on top of my Bible, man. Here we go. Uh, about to get ready to put it down, man. Make it happen. Use my spreader here for that. I got a handheld spreader right here, too, for some of the tighter places, maybe. All right, Z-Man. You know how to aerate and overseed now, don't you? Gonna start his own business. Z-Man, Z-Man, I ain't told him about this. Tell him what you're doing, man. What do you mean? What you playing? Football. Football. Safety. Or receiver. Both. He catch the ball and tackle himself. Yeah. Yeah. Z-Man's, uh, he may have been hitting the gym, man. Y'all see them guns there? Them things are legal in 50 states. <laughs> ah. Yep, see man playing football this year, so. Might have to go to a game. Yep. See man got a pocket full of money now. 130. Headed to the house. All right, guys and gals, this is the uh, at-home senior living. About six acres is what they want maintained. Don't know if y'all can see, there's flower beds all the way around the building. All of that's part of it. Mulching it, fertilizing, maintaining the irrigation system. Um, <clears throat> The way this looks, it needs to look like that. <laughs> yeah, that's that's in bad shape right there, man. One of the residents up there told me he says some lady on a lawnmower has cut it. But what they've done, see, none of this out here has been cut. What they've done is they've cut right up in here. And you can see on this side where they cut to. They didn't even go to the end of the parking lot. See, that's been cut. But then once you get right down there, that ain't been touched, man. Which that may be low land, too. But, uh... Basically, they want a price... $32 cuts a year, I think, is what it'll come out to be. <clears throat> and well 32 services so they want the landscape beds the hedges all of that stuff gone over every week in other words do anything that needs to be done in it plus trimming mowing edging blowing all that kind of stuff that's one price and then they want separate a price for mulch, fertilization, irrigation, um, spot treating ant beds, seem like there might, uh, keeping trees trimmed that are I guess I guess from what I'm reading I need to clarify sounds like they don't want any limbs on the trees below 15 feet um, of course picking up all the limbs they got a dead tree out there it needs to be took down which where it's at it's not right by the building I mean I'll take it down if they want it down but <clears throat> Anyway, I don't know. It's about six acres. Last year when I bid it, it was 9.2 acres because they were going all the way back to a pond back there. And I guess what they found out, that was just too expensive. Uh, so, 
anyway, I'm gonna have to go back out there and I wanna, I, I need to talk to somebody and get clear. Oh, the other thing was uh, annual flowers. So I guess somewhere up there, they swap out flowers, seasonal flowers. Um, I'm not sure where that's at. And it has something about some pine straw and I really don't, that maybe the pine straw was around back in the uh, common area but I didn't go back there to see. So I'm gonna come back up here Monday when the supervisor's there and uh, just make sure, you know, and then I can measure all the beds so I can figure up the mulch. They use pine bark. I don't know if that's what they wanna use or if that's just what they put in there the first time. Uh, all of the beds need edges cut back on them. Uh, it takes a good bit of work to get it going, honestly. Um, so, Again, that's one of those I don't mind bidding it. I'm not super, uh, you know, I don't know that I'd get it. Uh, because I'm certainly not going to bid low on something like that. Not going to bid low on it. You can't afford to on a property like that. You know, if you get a little yard and you bid $10 low on it, and every time you do it, you know, you're $10 low, that's one thing. It's another thing when you go do a property bid too low and you're $150 low and you got to cut it 32 times, uh, that's $4,800 <laughs> over a year. It's a lot of money. So. All right. I think uh, I think we'll close out the video here. And uh, yeah, I got some maintenance and stuff I need to do on the mowers, but I don't think I'm gonna record any of that. So hey, appreciate y'all taking time to watch the video. Hope you enjoyed it. My prayer for you is always the same: that the Lord might richly bless you, and that you might see all of your blessings as from Him. Hope you have a great day.